So we lock the transmission by putting it in two gears at once. See, so what we've got is the is is the bolt goes through there on right. the spline chair. Mm. That's that what holds right that on. That's right. There's a that washer is in there has a if you get it this way and sit it over the sun in there. Mm -hmm. Has a notch on it. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that notch is lined up with the splines, so it hits the spline on the end of the shaft, and that keeps the washer from spinning. And that's important. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look, look, okay. look, get, get around where you can see down in the sun. Yeah, this end. The other way. This no. end. This end. You turn this way. There you go. Oh, okay. See, the, see the washer's got a got a little end in it. Oh yeah. yeah That's yeah. important. It has to be in that position. Let me see. Let's see. Can you see? Okay. Let's see what. Sure. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see this. Okay now. This is a throw out bearing. I've got a new throw out bearing on here. Oh. So Let's see that spline is right about the uh, Oh you're taking a picture of so it. Yeah. So about the way that twelve o'clock position now. The way you that see works, that. this is your clutch. Right. Thing. And so come around this side. Oh, okay. All right. And so this face goes against your your pressure plate or your pressure levers on the on the pressure plate. And that, that releases your clutch. It does that. Interesting. You might be able to see it better over here. Yeah, I just took it from the top there too, but well, you can definitely see. Here's the, here's the kick. Yeah. Oh, okay, you have to sort of hold against so this, something. This is the face of the of the bearing here. It's against the levers on the pressure. Now, where's the throwout bearing? Right here? This? this? Yeah, that's the throwout bearing Thank right you. there. So that's a new one. Yeah. And the clutch disc is on your engine that you shipped out, right? Yeah. You're basically pulling the spring off. And there's the throw out bearing. Okay, now, where does the spring connect now there to here? Right there. Right where? Right there. This whole thing's the oh, throw out bearing? This whole thing. Well, this is a carrier and that's the bearing. Okay. And this bearing is different in that this face C turns. Okay. It's not the outside you. It's the inside. So you, in, yeah, the, the face turns on. Okay. Which one? Which one should you be using? What do you mean? Which one? You said one. The, the face. Well, the face turns, and that's that fits against the levers that on the on the uh, pressure plate. Mm -hmm. So when when you pull this forward, it pushes the levers on the pressure plate. Okay. And it this doesn't slide; it'd wear out if it did. Okay. Yeah. So you got the bearing that will allow this to turn. So with that out of the way, we can take this belt housing off. I'm going to have to go up one side. So that whole assembly just bolts through to that. This whole thing bolts through that. To, this, to the back side, yeah. To the belt. So. Like a 5-16s? Yeah, it's uh, 9-16s. 5-8s. I'll show y'all something is is not old, you're not none of your old time mechanics, so you've probably never seen what I'm getting ready to do. <laughs> This is called a speed wrench. Mm -hmm. Does it go that much faster than just a regular? Well, you can tell me. Can you can you turn a ratchet that quick? 
No. You have to go back and forth a lot more times probably. What you can't do with this is break it loose. Oh, you can't? Okay, now I need somebody to hold that. But, uh, yeah. It's gonna Just hold it against the transmission, it won't fall off this. bell housing and now we're down to the, the shaft of the transmission. So there's a better transmission. And so, I don't know if you saw he brought some uh, washers that are going to go on. That's why we're taking it down. Oh. Frank got some when he went to Bentley's. Oh. And so that's why he figured he'd put them on before we'd uh, actually put it back on the car. Mm -hmm. How's your car running? Like it's so good. <laughs> Just had my, I, my clutch the, adjust the, oh, the, cleavus the cleavus pin. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it wasn't, it, it was grinding no matter what I oh. did. Oh. That's why I'm, I'm curious to learn about the transmission. Oh. Right. Use that speed one again. Thank you. And in modern days, what you do is you put your Either battery or air prior to wrench on that and take it yeah. off. Yeah. Especially if it's seized up on you. Yeah. So it's about an eight hour job to pull the rear end and, and actually access the clutch or transmission, would you say? Well, I did an eight hour take it off. It's yeah. About four hours, I guess, to pull the rear end out more than one. Depends on what you run into. Sometimes you run into rusty bolts. A lot of bolts left over. Yeah, you know, gotta know where they go. Yeah. Are these just basically little gaskets there? Huh? Just a, is there a name for that gasket? It's just paper gaskets that come with the, they come with the gasket set, so it's a. Oh, okay. Hmm. So you got that housing on the front. You got this one on the back, and they, they retain your, your bearings, and this is one. This is two shafts. There's one that goes in the front, and one that goes in the back. Hmm. So they're connected in the middle with another bearing. You'll see that when they come out. Oh, okay. This is a, I think, kind of a neat trick with the. Yep. What you had? With the, uh, what what that is, is a pipe that I've screwed into. It's the, got the same fitting into the bottom of the transmission, so it holds the transmission steady. So you just that's just the drain yeah. plug. You just matched up your pipe fitting to. Yeah, yeah. That's a slick idea. I was wondering about that. Makes it a lot easier to deal with. Okay. Now, so to disassemble it. If I was six I, inches taller, I'd be able to see this whole yeah, thing. Okay. Is I is I pull this shaft out, I'm holding the bearings and the gears inside because they're sliding off this shaft. Oh. Hmm. So that's your back shaft. This one's going to be kind of tight in that, but... Do you need another hand? Do you hold something? Oh. Okay. So that's your, input, literally pull that's that your out. input shaft with the bearing on it. Hey. And so now what I'm going to do... I'm going to lower this 
what I can see inside. Okay, now we've got this nut on the back, which. Uh, Go ahead, Frank. I can see. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Tall folks in the back. <laughs> Don't have. Uh, what are we looking for? Right side of socket. This is the retainer for the. There are two shafts in the front. One holds the reverse gear, and the other one holds the uh, cluster gear. And that goes in there like that. If you notice, there's a notch here and a flat spot there. Oh, okay. So when you put those in there, that keeps those two shafts from turning and also keeps them in place. So to get the, the cluster gear out, I drive that shaft out from the back. And it has to come out the back because you can't see it, but that shaft's tapered. It's smaller at this end than it uh, is okay. at that end. Yeah. So it gets... When it comes to the front, you're, you're ground out. You can't drive it the other way. Now. So these are all welded together. That's one gear. That's right. That's your cluster gear. Okay. And there's the, the one I filed down. The problem I don't like about this is that you notice it's bigger it's a lot than of play. So oh yeah. It would have worked because it it's work it was working against this face here, which is which is bigger than the opening, so it would have worked. But, but it could cause an issue later. Might as well I get like, the right one in there. I like these that Frank brought better. Yeah. So you can look down here, this is your reverse gear. Oh, and it's just side. riding on a it's riding on a bearing on that on that shaft there. And since, I see. Since we don't need it out, we're not going to take it out. You want to look in there too? Okay. So we've taken it all the way down. Yeah. But you don't have to take this one out? No, I don't. It's okay, so we, we weren't looking at it. Yeah. Inside. So is there one of those on that as well, somewhere in there? No. No. What my concern was, was this gear, when it was in place, had in play too much this way. Okay. We'll and I thought if it was shifting back and forth, that could be the reason that it was dropping out, out of the gear. gear because this is always engaged with right. the top gear. Okay. Now inside here, what you've got is a needle bearing in back, a spacer in the middle, and another needle bearing in the front. Okay. You got a you got a short one in the front and a long one in the back back here. So what we're going to do? So if anything wears on these, it's going to be the teeth more than anything. That's right. If you, because the bearings are well, pretty the, well the, protected. Well, the these bearings do wear out, and they the the uh, the roll, rollers will come out of them, and you can also okay. get it scored in here. You know, if you get okay. grit or something in there. So, interesting. When you're doing this, really, you need to kind of have a clean table. You don't want a lot of dirt and dirt debris. around or anything. But we're gonna try. What we're gonna do is drop this back down in there. Well, hold on before you put that in there. And a bit. Hear that? Yeah. Tiny so, little bit of play. So what we're going to do now is, is if I... Is it still popping out of gear? Hi. I don't know whether it is or not. This is a new transmission. Oh, okay. Yeah. A, but I mean, previous to that. <laughs> that's the hope, though, is that it won't. Yeah. 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 So this has got new gears. Let's, let's look at this thing, because I'm... Even John said I, he didn't think there was anything wrong, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, this is the new gear. This is the How can you gear. tell compared yeah, to the other one? Number one, it has USA on it. Okay. Where this one... This is a good gear. Yeah. But it doesn't. They don't look the same, though. That's just been like machined out. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. 